Hello guys, this is Glenn from Sydney CBD Repair Center and today in the shop we have a Google smartphone. This is a Google Pixel 4a with a cracked display right on top there. But David is going to fix it for us. So as we all know, Google Pixel smartphones, when replacing the display, is a re very, very easy affair. So we're going to start off by removing the front display. And David here has some parts that he needs to label. And now that's done, we're going to proceed now to the actual disassembly. We're going to pry off the old display. So we're going to start from the undamaged part at the bottom we're gonna slowly pry it with thin pieces of metal and plastic so the good thing about this is we're not gonna reuse this display obviously and there's no cables that we have to worry underneath this since the there's only one cable attached to the main housing I think all smartphones should have this design just to make things easier for the repairs especially on the most vulnerable part of the smartphone the display so this is the cable th that i'm talking about this is the one that's connecting the touch screen and of course the display for the google pixel 4a it's held on by this latch it's got two screws on both sides we we're gonna remove that and pull out the display and now that's off the device we're gonna clean up the old adhesives that are on the side of this smartphone this is the stock adhesives you can just see the how thinly applied it is so there's not much problem to it we're gonna clean it off so that the new liquid glue can adhere to the corners and sides of this chassis We're gonna take out our replacement display. This is the one. We're gonna test it now. We're not gonna put the latch and the screw. We'll just confirm if this works or not. Because sometimes it's uh, we have a replacement display that's brand new and the touch doesn't work or the display doesn't work or both. So we need to test it before we put liquid glue or any adhesives underneath the replacement display just to save some time this one works so it's good to go touch is really responsive you can now properly shut down the device and let's proceed to the next step so the next step is putting the liquid glue onto the main housing especially to the sides and the corners just make sure to avoid the camera lens. Sometimes it's in the middle, this time it's on the side of the device. And now we're gonna attach the connector for the display firmly because we're not gonna reach this part again once we close up the display. I'm gonna put on the latch, screw in the two screws on both sides and position, align, and press it in. So for a, a beginner, even for a beginner, this repair is very straightforward and relatively safe. If your smartphone is really damaged and has a lot of cracks, you might as well ask some tips on how to avoid injuries on your fingers. But somehow, things didn't quite go as planned on the first try so David here is removing the display again there seems to be a problem in the alignment of the housing we're gonna test if it's really flat or somehow it's bent because the there is David noticed some gaps on the sides of the display now he's made adjustments by bending it back off camera 
we're just gonna replenish the liquid glue the sides and we're gonna put back the replacement display so if you have the same problem with your Google Pixel 5, Google Pixel 6, uh, 2, uh, 2XL, just visit Sydney CBD Repair Center or message David over our Facebook page or website, sydneycbd.repair, and we'll fix the, your problem for you. And just like this one, it's now ready to be used again. We also offer mail-in repair service and a reasonable price upfront price we don't have any hidden charges so if you want a fair pricing quality repairs Sydney CBD repair is your answer till next time guys cheers if you want your smartphone fixed for a very reasonable price you may contact Sydney CBD repair center we also provide mail-in repair services for customers outside of Australia or Sydney. Just message us so we can arrange the shipping of your device.